Over to you, Carden. Right, the next one will be study the graph below and answer the questions that follow. And whenever you see something like this, and in our topic anyway, public sector, um, this is most probably the, the only graph we have, and it's the Laffer curve. And this one here is showing the relationship of between tax revenue and uh, the tax rate. Uh, look, if government doesn't charge any tax, they get nothing, no revenue at all. And if government charges 100%, they still get nothing. Because uh, imagine you get a job, they tell you, your salary is 1 million. Will you take it? Yes, you would. And then they tell you, but government will take all of it. So will you still take the job? Maybe not. So if government takes 100%, they won't get anything because no one will be willing to work. And if government doesn't tax it at all, they'll get nothing still because they are not taxing anyone. So it, it and in this case, you'll see that 45% is a tax rate that government should charge in order for them to maximize their revenue. So if government's target is 200 billion rands, like you see in this scenario, they would have to charge 45% tax. And uh, what if they charge 60%? It doesn't make sense. They would make less money and they are hurting people more. So it wouldn't make sense to get to 65%. But 45 could make sense if government wants to, uh, you know, maximize. And uh, yeah, and play somewhere around this side. It depends. Remember, tax can be restrictive. It can be expansionary. So it could be, these figures can be adjusted depending on what's going on with business cycles. Are we going through an expansion phase? Are we go through, going through a, a recession or contraction phase? Um, so yes, government normally increases tax during times of prosperity, and they normally decrease tax during times of hardship, uh, like what we're currently facing uh, in 2020. By the way, you might be watching this in future. So yeah, it depends on what's going on then. But for now, we're going through tough times and you'd expect government to reduce tax. So basically that's the Laffer curve. So identify the curve in the graph above. Uh, I've said it is the Laffer curve. Uh, at what tax rate will government revenue be maximized? I've mentioned that already. That will be 45%. How much revenue will the government receive if the tax rate was 100? I've mentioned this again. They'll get nothing. What effect will a decrease in the tax rate from 65% to 45% have on tax revenue? Uh, okay, if tax rate was 65 and it's reduced to 45, look what would happen. Revenue would go up. The question is asking about tax revenue. So tax revenue would go up from 175 billion to 200 billion. It's as simple as that. Right. What, um, what consequences could a 1% VAT increase have on the different role players in the South African economy? Right. The increase of VAT by 1% could affect role players this way. Increasing the, re the revenue to the government if the same or more is spent by businesses or households. That is, yes, if nothing changes in terms of uh, spending, then government will make more money. But it's not always guaranteed that they would make more money. In some cases, they would make less because, uh, you know, people might be buying less. Right, resulting in a fall in output because fewer consumers will be able to afford to buy the same goods and services as before. Uh, I've mentioned that leading to a decline in the satisfaction of wants uh, of consumers, mainly poor consumers in buying luxury goods. They become way too expensive. They were expensive before, but now what more if you have to pay an extra, then, you know, they will be less attractive. Causing an increase in tax, especially the high income earners, where they are responsible for 85% of the 
of vet income the 19 basic food items are excluded from vet that benefit more lower income earners leading to a decrease in sales that will reduce profits don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel we are also giving away the distinction bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books at the moment we have the following textbooks economics grade 10 11 and 12 plus business studies grades 11 and 12. we are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog remember our books come in two versions complete and no answers versions complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not thank you so much for your support see you in the next video god bless